morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Mondays, or shall we say Thursdays, trading session, the 26th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. Be sure to visit the uh, the actual uh, App Store as well, the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so currently on my travels, just uh, updating you with regards to the latest stats in terms of European markets at present. In terms of economic data or Asian markets overnight, really we've had the uh, Asian markets continue on with the strength from the US markets, with US markets making new highs. If I bring up the chart of the S&P 500 here and give you an insight, you can see that we've certainly broken higher on the daily chart. Okay, so US markets certainly continue to uh, defy gravity defy expectations even with Mr. Trump's rhetoric okay his protectionist rhetoric his um, his two additional executive orders that have been signed yesterday talking down the potential uh, immigrants and talking against the uh, the Mexicans as well with regards to the so-called border wall okay uh, and also the uh, the order with regards to uh, going into these potential sanctuaries or slums and he certainly wants to increase the uh, the actual uh, uh, immigration police by threefold so that certainly isn't going to bode well in terms of community cohesion etc etc but i don't think he really cares and the stock market certainly is liking everything so thus far you can see here s p 500 finally breaking above the uh, key 2280 zone and we're now currently above the 2300 handle over there overnight so bulls certainly have a, a grip of this market at present also the nasdaq as well you can see the nasdaq screaming higher breaking new highs uh, continue even overnight we've actually pushed higher to 5170 so certainly very very impressive okay asian market certainly higher as well let's just bring up the nikkei give you an insight on the nikkei uh, the nikkei daily chart actually finished much higher than this is it back into that uh, key resistance above so nikkei certainly are pushing higher as well uh, in terms of european markets let's just go through the european section uh, the uh, the G german dax is currently above the 11800 uh, but touching that 11,930 resistance, we have resistance around the 11,930 zone. Also, we have resistance around the 11,880 zone as well. So, weekly chart certainly is into resistance. So, certainly understand that and, and be aware of that. Okay. In terms of the daily chart, we certainly have resistance in this zone as well. Uh, you have two key resistances. Okay. So, you have a resistance here and there. Okay. So, again, you have an unfilled gap that's been left behind as well. Same thing with the S&P 500. One of the concerns that I have with regards to being overtly bullish on the S&P, if you go to the smaller time frame, and you will see that there is a um, uh, multiple gaps. So you have two gaps that are certainly need to be filled. So the first gap is currently seen at uh, 2280, and the next gap is seen around the 2265. So I certainly wouldn't be uh, overtly bullish as of yet. Okay, certainly would uh, exercise some sort of caution. Just bear with me applying the pivot points as well okie dokie so okay so that certainly seems to be the situation of status quo at present so if I go back to the German DAX okay German DAX daily chart certainly putting in a potential doji from my perspective certainly is over over a bought at present on almost every metric that I can think of okay um, you can certainly see the topping tail doji candle being put in here as well Spare that in mind. In terms of the refer the actual uh, retrace, you are looking at gap fill below. So same concept here with the, the uh, S and P 500 as well. You have gap fill at 11.895 below. You have another gap fill below at um, 11.800. So certainly, uh, don't be surprised those gaps certainly close from my perspective. The Asian markets weren't exactly. They certainly were higher, but they certainly weren't um, uh, excited or ecstatic at the the potential of the thought or the move itself so yeah, given the fact that there's no real fall through in asian markets don't be surprised for the gap below to close so i'll certainly be targeting that gap fill below okay so you have two gap fills and both looking to potentially close okay so moving on to the french cac french cac certainly no fall through here at all okay certainly going towards gap fill now below at 4478 and then you have another, another gap fill below certainly is showing a weakness from my perspective or my understanding in terms of the 60 minute chart let's just go to this larger time frame let's see exactly where we stand the larger time frame as well 
Okay, large time frame, certainly another topping tail holding that key resistance at the uh, 4900 zone. Okay, you have the unfilled gap below at 4830, so be made aware of that. You do have an unfilled gap above at 4920 as well, so that certainly is a very strong possibility, okay, in terms of the next potential move. Now, with the euro being above 1.07, Okay, certainly is hurting exports. As you can see in the daily chart, the French cat, you are holding FIB 75%. So therefore, looking for a potential move lower. FTSE 100 at the moment, we're just basically uh, trading sideways. Okay, just consolidating. Now, the FTSE economic GDP numbers are out, are certainly due out shortly. So certainly keep an eye out for those. Okay, in terms of uh, which way the FTSE 100 certainly moves. You certainly seem to have built a base at 7160. If that were to crack, then you're going back to 7150 and 7140. If we go higher, then you have resistance at 7185 and you have resistance at 7205. So certainly watch out for those two potential uh, key zones, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Now the 60-minute chart, the FTSE. Okay, so certainly uh, trading within this channel, okay, you do have the uh, larger scheme of things, you have a bull flag formation, so watch out for that bull flag to play out. So if the economic data itself certainly sends a sterling lower, you will see a rally on the FTSE 100, okay. In terms of Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just quickly give you an insight here as well. Euro stocks, from my perspective, certainly looks top heavy given the fact that we've actually cl hit, clipped the uh, inverted head and shoulders target and we certainly closed that and exceeded that to a large extent. Daily chart on the Euro stocks, you are into resistance. Okay, that HS formation has been negated, unfortunately. And given the fact that the Euro USD is holding on to that uh, key uh, 1.07 and staying afloat, okay, certainly looking for risk aversion. In terms of the Euro stocks, you guys, you can see here on the 60 minute chart, we've closed the gap here at uh, 3323. We've actually pushed higher, we've created a topping tail. So again, you are looking for the market to reverse. Now you do have an unfilled gap below at uh, 3280, so certainly be made aware of that. Okay, certainly be made aware of that. And that will act as key resistance. As you can see here, double top on the Euro stocks and therefore looking to potentially reverse. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade, uh, Trade Signal, market leading apps. Uh, I'm certainly a market leading app, okay. Uh, and be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of the bonds. Goodbye now, folks.